A letter from Pope Francis containing directives for the Holy Year of Mercy continues to create a buzz tonight. In the letter, Francis says he's allowing all priests to grant absolution for the grave sin of abortion during the Holy Year of Mercy. The Holy Father writes, I have met so many women who bear in their hearts the scar of this agonizing and painful decision. The Vatican makes it clear that forgiveness of the sin of abortion does not condone abortion nor minimize its grave effects. Pilgrims visiting St. Peter's Square for the general audience today cautiously welcome the Pope's decision. So the Pope forgiving people who, for people who have done abortions is a good thing, but what I think is people doing abortions is a sin, so should not do it, but forgiving them is good. Yeah, that's the humane thing to do. The Holy Year of Mercy begins December 8, 2015 and ends next November. Father Dominic Legg from the Dominican House of Studies here in D.C. is with us, and there's some confusion over the Pope's letter regarding the absolution of the sin of abortion. What have you heard? Well, I've heard that some women are even questioning whether sins that they've confessed in the past of abortion were properly absolved, were validly absolved, which, of course, is a terrible confusion if that's what people have in their minds, because, in fact, in the United States, every priest has had this faculty going back for a very long time. So there's really no question at all that anyone who may have confessed an abortion in the past uh, and received absolution really was absolved of that sin. So to whom does this apply to and why did the Pope say this, do you think? Well, I think it's a way of underlining what is a hallmark of the year of mercy, the extension of mercy uh, to every corner of the globe and to indicate that there is nothing that should prevent someone from coming to the sacrament of penance in the year of mercy. But in fact, uh, most priests receive this faculty to absolve from the sin of abortion from their bishop, and what's happening now is the Pope is simply saying, I want to make sure that uh, everyone knows that this is coming from me. Yeah, I've understood that any sin can be forgiven if we are contrite. I mean, we, we even asked the question about murder. I mean, if a person confesses a murder, how is that different from abortion? Well, it's only different insofar as abortion under canon law is also an ecclesiastical crime. In other words, there's a penalty associated with it. So if someone has an abortion or commits an abortion, say a doctor, uh, and does it knowing that there's an ecclesiastical penalty, that person uh, could be excommunicated by the very act of committing that, that sin. And as and an excommunicated, they could not receive the sacrament. That's right. So that excommunication needs to be lifted in order for the sin to be forgiven. And that's precisely what faculty the Pope was giving to every priest. An important clarification. Father Dominic Legg, thank you so much. Thank you.